ladies. Okay, so um, here is my meal prep I've done for the week. Uh, so I think I mentioned that I made uh, some of the chocolate peanut butter cookies that are an E that are made. The recipe is from Pearl's daughter, Autumn, I think. Um, I actually ended up making a double recipe of the six. So I made one six times recipe and another six times recipe. And I didn't want, I don't know, I wanted something more uniform looking. So what I did is I have silicone, which is, I'll show you, this is my, my silicone muffin pan. And then I had extra, so I pulled out my silicone bar pan. And so what I did um, is it, it made six cookies and then like eight bars, which would be four bars because you make a sandwich. So I get in each baggie, I have a sandwich cookie and then half of a sandwich bar. And this is what it looks like. Let's open it. All right, so this is the cookie and this one is kind of big. So today at church, what I did is I opened it and then I just kind of made sure that both sides had an even amount of the peanut butter filling and then ate it open face like that. But the bar is not quite as thick. And so then here's half of a bar. And so this is one serving of the chocolate peanut butter cookie sandwich. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, and it's great because I had plenty of bananas to use up. So I've got, if we want these, we can just pull them out. You can eat them frozen, I've been told, but I can't really eat frozen things like this. So I will probably just pull mine out the night before if I know that's what I'm gonna want to eat. Uh, my chickens are finally laying eggs, so I definitely have a good selection of eggs. And um, we're still on a budget since my husband's truck is still not fixed. We're waiting on a part, which can't complain about that, I guess. Um, all right, so another thing I did is I'm on a fuel cool, fuel cool, <laughs> a fuel pool kick right now, and so I took cottage cheese. It needs more cocoa, so this is not a perfected recipe yet. But it is a fuel pool chocolate mousse. So what I did is I took, let's look at my notes, a half a cup to a cup, maybe even a cup of cottage cheese, blended it up, added cocoa powder, sweetener, vanilla, and then I took carton egg whites, and I took about an equivalent amount of three egg whites. I beat that up, I added some cream of tartar, a little vanilla, uh, maybe, and then some more sweetener in that, and then I folded it in together. And I felt it just was missing. So then what I did is I took one or two servings of THM's chocolate, and which isn't much, because I'm trying to make sure this stays a fuel pool, and then I melted it in the microwave, slowly and carefully, so I didn't want to um, do it too fast. And again, it was just a small amount. And then what I did, it made five of these containers, like jelly jar size, this is the regular jelly jar. You can kind of see the top where it's got some chocolate swirls in it. And so that was really nice because what happens is then you swirl in your melted chocolate, and again, it made five, um, and you just get nice, almost crunchy, but not quite crunchy, but bits of chocolate in your mouth. I need to work on this recipe, but as it is, I just need to get more cocoa powder, I think, without, because I'm sure you know, like if you go too much cocoa, you gotta add more sweetener, and then eventually you end up with just this awful cooling effect, which my husband does not like. And so my goal is to make things that both of us can eat that's healthy for both of us. Um, and having some fuel pool um, recipes to fall back on are great. And again, I used one cup of cottage cheese and it was low fat for five of these. And then, since my chickens are laying eggs and I had some store-bought eggs, um, I went ahead and made up like a chicken egg salad. Um, I don't know what else to call it. It's got, I think it's got five eggs in it <laughs> and then chicken breast that I had and just regular stuff. It's just got dill salad, dill uh, relish, there's a the word salt, pepper, paprika, um, just a basic, so then we can have sandwiches or in Joseph's pita bread on um, lavash, anything we want with this, even on, on lettuce, so this will be great. I've got, you can't ever, I always point, and y'all can't see what I'm pointing at, but over here I've got, I soaked yesterday two pounds of, I think it's Anasazi, if I'm saying that right, beans from Colorado, my parents, when they go, 
Um, they bring us back uh, beans and honey. And again, we're eating kind of out of our freezer and our pantry and just buying minimal stuff at the store. Um, so I pulled out those two beans. I soaked them all day yesterday and overnight with some apple cider vinegar. And then this morning, we got them going and they are, are soft now. And so for dinner, we'll have the beans. It's gonna be a crossover. We'll probably have some sausage or something with it. And then, I haven't tasted these. I don't know if they've turned out yet. But I have bought some Blue Masa Harina from our local Walmart months ago. And I wanted to try to make an E on plan um, cornbread. And so um, the other ones don't have jalapenos, but it made 12 muffins. And I don't know if you can see, they're kind of bluish, slight purple color because I had blue masa harina. I just know that's probably mostly organic or at least not GMO. So that's why I bought the blue. Um, and if, if everything that is blue and purple is better for us than the, the yellow green one, then this has to be better for me than the regular one. Um, so I've got basically masa harina cornbread to go with the Anasazi beans. And again, it's probably gonna be a crossover because I'll probably pull some sort of meat out of the freezer for that. Now, this is not done yet, and I hope I can come back to y'all with some good recipes. I've got two chayote, I think I'm saying it right, squashes, and I'm going to have to peel them, get the pit out, dice them up, and I'm gonna make these. I used to do the zucchini trick. I made zucchini into um, seafood fritters. Um, I've done cakes and cobblers and pudding, and not pudding, no, I didn't do pudding, um, but I would make an, an apple cobbler and everybody believed it was um, apples but it was zucchini. I have heard that the chayote is even better at um, making you think that it's apple. So I've got an idea for like some apple turnovers and stuff uh, with these this week. Um, I'm hoping, I can, I don't even know if you have to, I don't know how you tell if it's ripe or not. We're, it's an experiment, we'll see. But I only bought two to start with so I'll see. All right, so I've got my breakfast, some lunches, desserts, um, and then my dinners I prep for the week. The cabbage is not in here. So again, we're trying to, again, like most of these are easy, well, most of our recipes are easy, uh, but really budget friendly with what we have. If you have to go out and buy everything, then it's probably not budget friendly for you. But I had a cabbage two weeks ago. Our Super One had these guys for super cheap and they were really big. The onions have been on sale lately. My sausage I got from my store for less than $2. All the seasonings and then a the green bell pepper. And you know me, these guys are gonna get cooked until they're soft because I do not want a crunchy bell pepper. I just, I don't know why, I just do not like it. And then I've got the cabbage. The cabbage obviously would not fit in here, but we're just gonna have a smoky um, cabbage um, skillet, something, I don't know what I'm gonna call it. I went to my blog for some ideas and I just, I don't know, I didn't feel it. So I'm gonna do a different recipe. And then this is, oh, this is my um, lemon chicken piccata. I, every now and then when I go to the grocery store, I'll buy a couple extra things that are not on my list that I don't need, although not right now. Um, and so I have some capers. I had bought some lemons when they were on sale, so I have the lemons. I got chicken a couple weeks ago there, buy one, get one free. Obviously my seasonings. And then, um, so I'm gonna make a chicken lemon piccata which is, it's so simple and it's so good. Um, I've got the breading in here and all the seasonings. And we will probably use Dreamfield's pasta, which I try to keep on hand, uh, just because that's what my family will eat. If your family will eat spaghetti squash or the, the dream noodles and all that, I'd say go for it, but my family won't. Um, okay, this is gonna be a new recipe for me. I'm gonna make um, cream cheese chicken enchiladas. So I've got, I kind of splurged on this cheese. I love quesadilla cheese. I'm kind of a picky cheese person. I'm not like into mozzarella and stuff, but this cheese just melts beautifully. Um, so we're gonna make a sauce with the hatch green chilies, the cream cheese. I'm gonna saute up um, the onion uh, and I'm gonna make a sauce. I'm gonna make, I've got my cauliflower rice in the freezer and so I'm gonna make my Spanish cauliflower rice to go with the, um, cream cheese chicken enchiladas. I might change it up, I don't know. I've kind of got an idea for the recipe. Oh, and then if you can, every time a recipe calls for cooked chicken, you can use a rotisserie chicken. 
but my Costco is about a 30 to 45 minute drive one way. So I'm just gonna use what's in my freezer for now. Um, and so I've got a decent amount of seasoning. I don't know if I'm gonna need it all. I basically just mixed up um, homemade taco seasoning to add, because I like flavor in every, just about every component of my dish. I don't want like this flavorful sauce and then the chicken to be bland. So I've got some seasonings I'll add to the chicken. So what I'm gonna do with the chicken, I'm just gonna put it in the crock pot, blow broth, let it cook, shred it, and add some seasonings. Hope I'm not talking too fast, I'm sorry. And then my last prep, okay. This is a brand new recipe. I haven't finished tweaking my measurements yet. Um, I don't know why I have not made one. This is going to be, and I just lost my thought. Ah, it's chip, beef, beef stroganoff, there we go. So again, a few weeks ago, or actually in January, uh, my grocery store had buy one, get one, sell one steak. So I bought um, two packs, which ended up being four meals worth because they were pretty big packs. Uh, I, I don't have any seasonings in here yet because I haven't, I know I want to do Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire. I don't know. I'd wash your sister. I think that's the funniest one. Um, some garlic, um, salt and pepper, some heavy cream, some xanthan gum to make a, a thicker type gravy. But I've got my sirloin steaks and all the meat is like solid because I just pulled out the meat. I prepped the boxes yesterday and then just had to get the meat from the freezer for the video today. Got some onion. That's not onion, y'all. This is butter. This is an onion. I know the difference. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then um, mushroom. So, and then I'm gonna do my trick of serving it over my mashed potatoes, which is a bag of frozen cauliflower, a yellow squash that I now um, peel because if they see the yellow, they're like, what's in here? Um, and then a couple of baby potatoes per person. So about six-ish to eight-ish, depending on their size. And then I add um, either reduced fat, a regular cream cheese, and I blend, mash it, blend it really well, and add salt and pepper. And so we'll have that with the beef stroganoff. And again, you could use ground beef. I just happen to have some packs of this in my freezer that need to be used up. Um, but I still got to work on my seasonings and tweak it and everything. Um, that's what I've done so far for this week. I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot more. Um, I want to keep coming up with some great fuel pull ideas with the cottage cheese just because I have, in my research, discovered as we age, we need more protein. And cottage cheese is cheap. It is blendable. I do not eat it unless it is cooked or blended. I cannot handle the texture. But it is a great, um, what is the word I'm looking for? I can't think of words. Um, you can do so much with it. It's kind of like a, an avocado. You can go so many directions with an avocado, even make pudding. With cottage cheese, you can do so much with it. Um, I even, that's how I made my fuel pull Alfredo sauce. That's how I made my fuel pull nacho cheese sauce. It's just blending up cottage cheese and adding different flavors and you just go so many directions. That's how I made my fuel pull lemon blueberry cheesecake parfaits. Um, so I'm hoping I can just keep coming up with some great, yes, first of all, thank you. Oh, thanks, Lana. I appreciate that. And I hope you can figure out how to make the um, that uh, buffalo chicken recipe that I can't remember how I made. Hope you can get have success with that. Um, I do hope I can come back this week and tell you all that I was able to make this chayote into an apple turnover. Um, I'm really excited about that. Hope you're having a great Sunday. I'm about to put all this up and do a little bit more work and then put my feet up for the rest of the day. Bye, y'all.